My name is Laura Ceballos, and I'm here regarding the abandoned property across the street from where I live. I have a written statement that I'd like to read to you um, regarding this property, and it's to the special attention of District E City Council Member uh, Dave Martin because I reside in uh, his district. My presence here has become necessary due to the lack of physical excuse me, due to the lack of physical action in the past five years from Harris County and the City of Houston regarding the crumbling and repeatedly vandalized property across the street from our residence. <clears throat> My family and I are first-time homeowners who purchased our home five years ago. We worked for many years to achieve what we consider is an American dream. <clears throat> the American dream has now turned into a fight to clean up or demolish our neighboring property located at 10130 Tolman. Every day we are plagued with the scenery of an abandoned, vandalized property, barely standing, unpainted garage doors with boarded up and busted out windows, trash and clutter in the driveway, remnants of a broken wood fence, a caved in roof, blue graffiti on the front windows, overgrown trees and bushes, and the list goes on and on. This property is additionally located within a few blocks of the middle school where children walk home from school every single day. Council Member Martin. As a school board member and a father, I am certain you can affirm the importance of bringing your children up in a respectable environment where the younger generation of our community are not faced with having to view an eyesore of a property on a daily basis. The home is drawing vandals, taggers, strays, transients, and gang members. It is affecting the safety of everyone in our community. In addition, it is compromising the value of our property. I am pleading with you to please help me put an end to this nuisance property and get the ball rolling on a sale or a demolish. On a side note, a few months back, the public <coughs> auction signs placed in the yard and then removed a few days later. The owners were also served with a repair order, repair order this past April, and their property taxes are undersued. This appears to be a never-ending battle with no visual result. As a family, me, my husband, my 12 and 3-year-old daughters walked our entire street to talk to the residents on Tolman to get feedback on this property, and everyone is fed up. One neighbor stated he approached the husband of the homeowner and expressed interest in buying the property, but was never called back. No one lives there, and no one cares. But we still live here, and we are not giving up on having a clean and safe environment as the owners at 10130 Tolman did. We worked too hard for what we have to allow that home to be a reflection of where we live. It is quite embarrassing to have company over and using this plaguing property as a landmark of where to find our home. We will no longer ignore the broken, broken down property that poses a threat to our children, our community, and our environment as a whole. Enough is enough. Thank you. Your time has expired. Thank you. Uh, somebody said I'm going to recognize Council Member Martin at the moment. Okay. But I believe it has been explained to you by the part of the neighborhoods that we, it, it's not that we don't want to take down properties like this, it is that we are constrained by state law in the processes that we can use. Okay. And uh, if the property is, is boarded up and secured from the outside, it is not considered a dangerous building. I agree, it's an eyesore, it drives down property values, and it is. Uh, one of my great joys as mayor when we get to take one of those houses down, which is why we created sure. demolition day and, and why we try to do it aggressively. But it is a long and, and torturous process to get there, and you could be helpful uh, uh, to us in, in contacting uh, state, the state legislature. I will. And, and, and help us in this effort. Even if the windows are all broken out, I mean, people. There are people living there, you know, and there, it is not secure. It's not we secure. We can go in and push the owners to secure it. But that does not mean that we are allowed to tear it down. Right. That is it's still uh, uh, not possible for us to do. Our, our, we, we, we just want it cleaned up. Even if it's uh, not, you know, just, torn down, or we, we want some action. We have to see this. You know, we've owned our home for five years, and we have children we're bringing up in this community, and it, there's no visual result. It's gotten worse over the past and Every one of us sitting here knows exactly what you're talking about and agrees with you. Yes. And, and we, we tear them down as aggressively as we can, but it is not that, and I've seen the picture, yes. it's not considered a dangerous building. Okay. Chair, I think that's the council member Martin. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Mrs. Sparrows. Mm -hmm. um, I, I will personally guarantee that I'll be out there this week and I'll take a look at it, but as the mayor stated, there are state laws that supersede anything that we're trying to do. Sure. I will have a member of my staff meet with you in just a minute, but I will be out there personally and take a look at it. I might come in and knock on your door. Okay. Thank I you very much. It.
Thank you for, for coming down. And, and it's not in my district, it's in uh, Councilman Warren's district. So um, obviously, he already uh, committed to, to looking into it. And, and uh, just want to point out, he recently just took office. So yes, uh, I, I think we just give him a chance to kind of get his hands around it yes. a little bit. And, and it is very frustrating. <coughs> As a district council member, this is one of the biggest frustrations is that we can't eliminate what, what we clearly see as an eyesore and a nuisance in our community, uh, and it's, it's unfair to the others. Yes. Uh, and so hopefully state law can't change to, to open it up because it does expose the city lawsuits if we tear down a house that 20 years later somebody comes and you tore down my house and you should have. Uh, but I, do, I did hone in on something you said that I think we can be proactive, and I'm sure the council member uh, probably caught it too, is that you did say that there's a you know, vagrants and, and, and some criminal activity uh, occurring in and out. Yes. And I think that should be your primary focus of okay. uh, working with the local uh, uh, police uh, area okay. uh, district out there. Okay. Probably clearly control to let one of the supervisors know so that maybe they can make sure that they eliminate the crime element that is occurring. That's unacceptable okay. and that can be addressed. And then also to make sure, as the mayor stated, that we could make sure that it's at least boarded up because would hate for a child or someone to be taken in there sure. uh, and, and, or other crimes to be committed. And it's not boarded up, it opens it up to that. So I think that you can maybe focus on that first okay. uh, and then hopefully the, the bigger issues of dem demolition can come later. Okay. Uh, it's always enjoyable when we finally see those come down as a sure. mere state. But, but thank you for advocating. You know, we have a lot all throughout our districts that, that we would like to, to, to get that done. Okay. But I think if, if you work, especially on the, on the crime issues, and securing it that way, I think that would be effective. Plus, you get more police presence out there. Thank uh, you very much. Okay.